All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I actually didn't plug in the mic, so I'm using the the Logitech kit built-in camera. But I sound essentially the same because of the filters, uh, so uh, filter settings on um, OBS. Also, Logitech makes actually pretty good stuff for cheap. So, um, I mean, I imagine the price is going up a little bit because of the coronavirus, and I assume Logitech, like every other company in the world makes their stuff in like Asia or China, right? Uh, but with that being said, um, I mean, I guess really not much to talk about because right now uh, everything's getting, uh, you know, uh, screwed over by <laughs> the coronavirus, right? So, um, yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. And then let's see. Yesterday I kind of decided to take a kind of partial day off, right? Especially for coding. So I just simply watched like a... 30 or 38 minute video on how to create a delayed matchmaking service uh, using Photon, right? So it was a pretty good tutorial. <clears throat> so uh, so I think for my game, what I'll uh, start off with is uh, a delayed matchmaker of like five to 10 seconds, try to let people get in. And then, um, I don't know, because I still like the idea of people joining into the Battle Royale mode, and even the inst and really the other modes, <clears throat> depending on the situation, for like a couple of minutes before you close the game off. Uh, but you know, with, um, with that being said, you know I can figure about I can figure that out later. Uh, so with that being said, um, uh, what should I call it? Yeah, not really much. I've just been starting to listen to more. Um, Jesse Lee Peterson. I actually was just listening to. I don't even want to say the words because uh, it might flag the channel. Um, uh, what you might call it? Uh, just basically a bunch of angry uh, black people calling Jesse basically a, a, essentially a race traitor. Right? I, I think I think that should be safe, right? So I watched a bunch of clips on his channel about that this morning. Uh, last night I spent actually a lot of my time uh, watching the Democrat debate with Nick Fuentes. I didn't actually know they had another one yesterday. Uh, it was actually, you know, kind of fun. Bloomberg was, you know, came off better. Uh, he's, he's, uh, we call him blooming, right? Some people were blooming and then other people were calling, well, actually, I can't say what people were calling Joe Biden when he was becoming a little manly too. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just say not so much angry Joe, though you could say angry Joe, but it's more like, you know, like, you know, you're not going to push me around. I may be an old senile man, but I still got some fight left in me. So, uh, so that's what it is. You know, but we, I, I can't say it. And, and then unfortunately, it turns out that actually is DLive still deplatform? DLive app. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, it's uh, deplatformed on Google Play. So, yeah, I mean, like, again, I really wish Trump would actually do something about the fucking censorship. But, you know, what are you going to do? <clears throat> so yeah, but anyway, uh, Nick Fuentes just of last night, at least his interpretation of the event was uh, everybody got their marching orders from the DNC, and they all were supposed to attack Bernie Sanders, all right, uh, and they have one week to do it, which obviously just tapered off as the uh, debate went on, but they still took pot shots at Bernie Sanders from, you know, different angles whenever they could. I don't even remember what any of them even said, right, because it was just convoluted, whatever. I just remember Bloomberg, Bernie uh elizabeth warren was a huge bitch to bloomberg and just looked angry and petty as always which is why nobody likes elizabeth warren anymore and then uh pete uh wait i can't even oh god i can't uh oh my god i really just hate having a self-censor i'll say that but you know but the good news is none of them are gonna win and uh it does look like Bernie sanders is gonna get the nomination right i mean even if they uh, they would have to outright cheat right which will cause riots and you know unlike conservatives because we're nice people you know liberals especially the far left bernie bros and i guess bernie gals right they're gonna riot and burn shit down right and um well you know the globalists uh they're not that they're not stupid so they're not gonna let that happen so they're gonna have to let bernie just get the nomination tank the democrat party ish right and then let trump win re-election all right. I mean, I mean, basically, the establishment's caught between a rock and a hard place. They have two forms of populism that they equally despise, and they're like, "What? What? What, what do we do? We, we can't do anything." So uh, it'll be nice to make everybody uh, see everybody on on the top, you know, ha having to sweat for for a change. Uh, and of course, hopefully, this will spur Trump to actually do something too. 
because uh, like it's a tug of war. I really have no idea. Like you know, because on one hand, Trump's got issues and doesn't keep certain promises, and even Ann Coulter. Uh, let's see. Actually, uh, yeah, I guess we could go. Even Ann Coulter got deplatformed by CPAC as well. Um, okay, yeah, I, I don't want to go through their whole, whole timeline, but I did retweet it. So, and then here's Benny Johnson getting angry at Nick Fuentes. Uh, here's Paul Joseph Watson saying Hunter Avalon, which is another fake conservative that came out of nowhere, so he's propped up. So there's nothing harmful about, I'm going to let you read this, I don't even want to say it, about blah, 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 puberty blockers. So, you know, we've got an, you know, Turning Point USA speaker. So Turning Point USA is just going full degenerate mode, and I'm just kind of hoping that uh, more of this is going to get exposed. And I think it will. All right. And then here, of course, you know, demographics is destiny. So, you know, I, see, Ann Coulter, she's not coming out in support of the Groyper uh, revolution. But, I mean, she's she's on our side. She's on our side. All right. Because I don't see anybody from the so-called grift or fake right talking about shit like this consistently. One tweet's not enough. You got to have a consistent pattern of doing it. Uh, and then this is what Ann Coulter uh retweeted so cpac speaker list and there are neocons po politicians and here's the important part the grift right so ann coulter is not willing to say it herself but she's willing to at least kind of hint at it right and then why is ann coulter michelle malkin and i don't know who this person is right uh but i assume they deplatformed her too and she looks black so i'll assume that she's black well, you know, so much, so much for all that bullshit. Like, well, we like to welcome everybody, especially non-whites, into the movement, right? To make us look less racist. Well, you, well, then, then what the hell is this, right? You know, why are they deplatforming a black conservative? It's like, give me a break. So anyway, yeah, they got rid of Ann Coulter as well, and of course Michelle Malkin, because you know she uh, actually did what was right. And um... oh, great, they're doing cleaning now. <sighs> um... All right, I'm going to have to run real quick and open the window. It's very irritating, I'll say the least. Uh, let me see. And of course, the side window is not open. I'm going to have to open it after I do this video. Uh, but I opened up the, uh, because my exit's right by the closest window, is like the bathroom window, so I opened that, hopefully, you yeah. know. I mean, it's nice because during the winter it's cold usually, right, so the air is easily, much, much more easily circulating, but, uh, during the summer it's like, forget about it, but, you know, what can you, what, what can you do? So anyway, uh, oh yeah, this was pretty funny too. Joe Biden actually said on stage in the last 10 years, gun violence claimed the lives of 150 million people. <laughs> it's still funny. even after... <laughs> Gun violence. 150 million Americans, yes. That's a little under half the population of America in just 10 years. <laughs> that's more That's more people dead than like all the wars that America has fought since like the founding, including the Revolutionary War. It still is like, you know, what, 10, 20 X greater than that? <laughs> no, it's like 150 X. <laughs> and then someone did reply saying that there was, uh, he also said he was running for the Senate. Uh, yeah, they also heard his recent eyes, he's running for the set. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, like Jesse Lee Peterson says, don't judge, and I'm not, <laughs> but he is off his bed. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. But you know what, at least Biden has at least stopped doing the really crazy cringe, uh, and really the rape stuff, like where he's like hugging and grabbing, uh, I don't even want to say it, but you know, the, grab, the grabby Uncle Joe, right, pervy Uncle Joe, so at least he stopped doing that. Because I have not heard a single thing about that um, uh, since, uh, I guess, months ago. So he finally got, at least got that into his head to stop doing that. Um, yeah, so aside from that, it's just like, uh, I mean, until this coronavirus bullshit, like, passes, yeah, we're, we're going to be in for a rough ride, you know. So uh, remember how I said in the past, uh, Black Swan events? Well, here you go. Here's your Black Swan event. And uh, it's actually a pretty nasty one, too. 
Um, oh yeah, so I don't like to fear monger, but yeah, it probably would be a good idea to start stock up on a little bit of supplies. Um, actually, I'm going to have to hide my thing here because I do want to show you, if you want to go that route, you could do this. So, uh, I want to make sure that, let's see, MRE. Uh, I want to make sure it's not showing my, uh, my, um, zip code here. So I just want to check the Amazon page real quick. Yeah, because it's so annoying. It's like, here's your address. Here's here's your location. Even though you're not logged in, it's like, can can, can you not show? Can you not do that track? It's so annoying. It's so annoying. All right. You know, it's like you know, I, I get that we're a fallen country, but like, can you at least let me have my privacy? All right. It looks pretty safe. And obviously, you can just get this wherever you know you want to go in case you don't want to use Amazon. But uh. Yeah, you want to stock up supplies, just check out the... Uh, I, I like the idea of actually using military rations. They're quick, they're easy, you know, it's what I like, and they come in a nice small package, and you just buy a huge box of it. All right, uh, and then they have different ones, so, you know, I'll probably get... Ooh, this looks... Oh, that's a re meal replacement bar. No, I want an actual meal. Um, zombie <laughs> MRE. Um, let's see. I probably want to type in. Okay, let me let me close this. But yeah, if you want to stock up, because there's an interesting point that Nick Fuentes actually brought up in one of his previous D live streams. He actually said you only want some guns, some ammo, and some supplies. Maybe at most a few weeks. And then people were asking him, "Wait, that's not really prepper. Why would you only have a few?" And he explains like, "Uh, good question. Uh, actually, I don't know if he said good question, but." He's like, yeah, it's counterintuitive. The reason he said it was because if you have a large supply of stuff, then what's going to happen is everyone's going to find out eventually when th when shit really does hit the fan, if God forbid that does. Um, USA MRE. Uh, then they're all, they're just going to kill you and your whole family, probably rape your you know wife, uh, your wife and daughters, and then take all your shit anyway, right? And it's, just going to be you versus like you know 50 desperate people or 100 desperate people right imagine what it's going to be like living in the city right well actually and when it so so the way i look at it is it kind of just doesn't matter because no matter what choice you pick you're screwed either way so get right with god and then when you die you know hopefully you uh you know you've forgiven your mom your dad and yourself and everybody else and then you enjoy uh you enjoy heaven all right so i have to write I mean, there's a, there's a YouTuber called Steve MRE, or 1989, I think, and Moon Moon likes to play his videos, so that's where I got the idea for MREs. And all that Steve YouTuber guy does is try out different MREs. It's actually a pretty popular channel. So this is what, that's why I got the idea for this. And, of course, um, they can last a long time, but I would just get anything. Me, personally, I'm willing to pay a few extra bucks to get something like 2018, 2019. I want something recent. I don't, I don't want to be like Steve MRE and like eat 10, 20-year-old rations. They are actually still pretty good most of the time, but given my own health situation, I, I'd rather play a little safe. Uh, so yeah, you have an Ultra MRE uh, four pack for thirty two fifty. This is probably older though. Uh, this is a twenty four meal. Wait a minute, this is unusually more expensive. Ah oh, shit! So the coronavirus is actually uh, damn. Well, I guess so much for this idea, right? Uh, yeah, because this actually used to be a lot cheaper. It used to be like a, like six to twelve dollars for like twenty eighteen to like twenty twenty. So, uh, this one's okay. You can get one pack of the Kanye West and Donald Trump MRE for fourteen fifty. Yeah, damn. Yeah, well, at least my Target nearby is still well stocked with food. <laughs> Yeah. In fact, uh, today today I have to lift weights because I took two days off in a row to not lift weights. So today, so, so that means my next day off is tomorrow. So that's when I usually go to uh, do shopping. Hopefully, so let's see, what day is tomorrow? Thursday. Yeah, that's literally smack dab right in the middle of the week. So there should be plenty of, plenty of stuff uh, there. Uh, my God, two MREs, 2020, 2021 for $46. Uh, all right, guys. Well, um, I guess just stock up on canned goods because obviously this MRE idea is also pretty expensive, you know. So, uh, yeah. So, all right. Well, I, I guess just start stocking up a little bit on supplies, you know. So, me personally, I'm not really gonna. Well, I guess technically I do that. I have enough food basically for like ten days. 
In fact, I have recently got my push cart because now, because um, I never mentioned this before, but here in New York City, we have a mandatory no more plastic bag rule, and I have to pay five cents for every uh, paper bag bullshit. Uh, it, like this is what happens when you let communists run your state. I mean, it's probably better uh, for the environment, yeah, because you're you're actually not producing so much toxic waste through plastic. But I mean, really. So anyway, I had to buy a push cart, and I had kind of was kind of thinking about doing it anyway because I buy a lot of crap from Target, and you know, it's it's really heavy for me. I mean, I'm a big, strong guy, right? But uh, you know what? I'm just gonna push the damn cart, <laughs> right? Because if I have kids, right, I'd rather have the kid in my hand and I push a cart. So, you know, because what's more important to me? Obviously, my kid. So I want my hands to be free uh, as, as much as possible, right? You know, the, like, if a, if a speeding, out-of-control truck is bearing down on us, you know, I want to be able to ditch the cart and just run away, right? But, you know, if I'm carrying groceries and my kid, it's going to be hard because, you know, you, you see how bags are carried, right? I need to be able to drop whatever I'm doing. But obviously not drop my kid, obviously, and then, you know, run the hell away from whatever the danger danger is. So uh, it's about uh, logistics and mobility. That's all. And that's what I'm good at. So, you know, um, I, like I have to actually start thinking about these things. Right. Because, you know, eventually if I meet a nice, sweet woman or, you know, Christian one or a woman who wants to actually be legit Christian, right? You know, you know, she, I'm going to be responsible for her and the kids and pretty much everything else, right? Because I'm the man of the house. So, you know, I got to really think about these things, you know? <laughs> so, oh, God. You know what? I'm just going to go like this because this, God. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm glad that I've been losing weight and my, uh, and my flaring, my inflammation's been very much under control except the past couple days. But that's my own fault because I just... Yeah, I'm still eating a little too many more calories. I, I think I'm still t losing weight, but, you know, I can obviously do better. You know, so. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week is 10. So it's actually going down a bit. Um, i refresh this one more time. Uh, I think you guys could still hear me. Oh, man. Oh. No, that's not going to work. Oh, I have to do it this way. Oh yeah, yeah. No wonder I'm having no wonder I'm having trouble. Okay, so hopefully you should still be able to kind of hear me through this because if I put my goal like this, then you can't really hear me too well. Twenty-four hour volume is at one hundred seventy-three point four mil uh, billion uh, trade value. God, this thing is really distracting me. But I guess we'll get we'll have to just adjust because uh, my health does have to come first. Bitcoin dominance is at 64.6%. And uh, yeah, so this is a little, uh, so it's a little bit more active than normal, but unfortunately it's active in the bearish direction, obviously. Bitcoin's at 9,038. Uh, Litecoin's at 6,362. Holy shit, wow. We're, we're talking about a serious bloodbath here. Um, Dogcoin is 288.3 million market cap. Oh, God. Got a huge dose of uh, bleach right there. Um, and Steam cryptocurrency is 16.77 cents. So we're, we're talking some serious damage here. Um, oh, that's interesting. So everyone's dumping their crypto. What? This makes no sense. What the hell is going on? So, uh well, I guess I guess people who say you know crypto is a store of value sometimes it's it's not consistent. Sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. Today is one of those days where it technically is true because now everyone's dumping their crypto. Oh God, the damn bleach! Everyone's dumping their crypto and then buying, uh, you know, going back into equities here. Um, uh let's see coronavirus lingers sales of new jump uh raising federal minimum wage would lift millions out of poverty so we got another communist scam article here um yeah it's actually pretty impressive but i will have to admit i mean yes i mean like what the dow jones industrials went down 1800 points and so now it's up 1410 yeah so i it's definitely like a pullback because remember it, it goes both ways you can't just go straight down there has to be a bounce back at some point so right now we're just bouncing back. Uh, now whether this is 
gonna lead back to a bull run or not it's totally but it's too it's too unpredictable right now to really figure out uh okay so we got people still talking about the d so i don't see anything here that says we came up with like a cure or anything right i did make the tweet yesterday i believe where um some pharmaceutical company or maybe it was two days ago and i'm covering yesterday's video but i'll repeat it here like we have a vac we have a prototype vaccine out already right like the globalists are working very hard to get rid of this virus and that's what you know and that's what uh i've always been uh saying because you know you know conspiracies and conspiracy theories aside the globalists have a huge incentive to stamp out this virus pronto all right because again uh if if the virus if the coronavirus is next door then what's going to happen is we're all going to become right-wing people right because you either do that or you die all right you don't have a choice anymore all right and globals don't want that because when you become a right-wing person guess what happens all right you become closer to god you start realizing okay we need to know the truth because we don't know the truth we die all right so and, and of course you know it's like the zombie apocalypse right it's like okay we need guns we need ammo like that's the last thing the globalists want they don't want the pot they already don't want they already don't like the populist movement that's going on what do you think is going to happen when everyone starts stocking up on food guns and ammo right and they're not going to be receptive to gun control at that point right they're they're, they're <laughs> it's like you know it's like it's literally the 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 hugest nightmare scenario for the globalists right if we were evil people we would actually encourage people to get infected so we could accelerate that process and then you know but that's obviously an evil cynical way of doing things right and we're not we're not that so i still can't get over the fact that there is a cryptocurrency called corona that's just funny anyway jfc coin is uh kind of just chilling out here as usual three to four right not much activity here uh 404 coins doing okay six to seven right not a whole lot of activity here either so this is actually pretty surprising crypto is just dying right it's just like a complete like okay you know what let's just exit everywhere um it's pretty good that the stock markets are doing all right right it's going it's up a lot however it still has to gain it still is down a total of 1400 points in terms of the dow and whatever it is for the nasdaq and s p so again it's just too hard to, de to determine if this is just a i think they call it dead cat bounce <clears throat> or whatever you want to call it but basically it's just a temporary reversal before it continues to slide further down because again i don't see any changes in the news uh but we'll see but we're actually going to look at the coronavirus afterwards uh yeah you got some people buying so four four six to seven i mean it's good just chill here for now so and two by two 64 to 67. So, I mean, so crypto, at least the exotic cryptos, I mean, we've already been hammered here quite hard. So it's going to be a lot harder for it to really go down. But everybody else is going to get slammed. So uh, we'll just have to see because it's uh, it's so volatile and dangerous right now. So, you know, if you're looking to buy, then this is your time to basically just look at it. Uh, otherwise, uh, I am not expecting any bull runs anytime soon. Um because because uh, I know the CDC is just outright just coming out and saying you know it's a you know we're gonna we're gonna have an outbreak in America blah blah blah. Oh, he still didn't open that upper window. I hope he might have opened the other window. So um, the super that's cleaning that is. And um, oh, I forgot my train of thought, but basically. Um, yeah, I completely lost my train of thought there, but um, we're just going to have to see what well, what's up with the coronavirus stuff. Because uh, if it does that, oh yeah, the CDC. So for some reason, they're just going against Trump, right? And then I found out that and from the debate, de Democrat debates yesterday, Trump cut funding the CDC. So maybe this is the CDC's way of getting back at Trump a little bit, right? Um so it's like, eh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, but they basically said it's going to be here. Uh, we don't know how bad the infections are going to get. I don't know. I have a feeling there's something not right about it. It's like, well, hmm. Yeah. All right. I, I don't know. There, there's, I don't know. I think it might be a little political, but with that being said, you know, we can't just ignore the warning either, right? I, I would not freak out about it, right? But, you know. I uh, just carefully monitor the situation. I mean, I am in, I'm in New York City, so there's essentially nothing we can do, right? But for most of you, you know, depending on how paranoid you want to be, 
then yeah, you can be a little more careful. Uh, but either way, uh, compound coin 4110 to 4800. So, uh, uh, yes, persuade. Wow, I own five, I own six of those ninja guys now. Um, 410 to, to 4800. So, yeah, compound coin's still hanging in there. Not a whole lot of trade volume, though. All right. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh, completely wrong out data. Bitcoin, Chamath, doo -doo -doo, billionaire. Chamath disagrees with Warren Buffett on the value of Bitcoin. That's true. Uh, Bitcoin, dominant. yeah, but that's fine. I mean, Warren Buffett's a really old time boomer guy. So, you know, but he is beginning to uh, warm up the Bitcoin. So I don't know why he's kind of attacking him, but they're both battle of the billionaires. So whatever. Uh, Bitcoin dies, climbs, broke support, lead to D. Why the Bitcoin? Okay, Bitcoin. Okay, so Homeland Security has Bitcoin snooper force, DHS, to pry on unlicensed crypto business operating on the dark net. And okay, what well, you might actually be. Actually, I'm not going to read the whole article. I just want to read what the that last part is. Dark net peer to peer sites. So. Okay, this according to DA will provide closer screening areas, posing significant challenges to law enforcement. Okay, so it looks like, so, hmm. I mean, I guess, all right, so that just means, uh, hey, she looks pretty attractive. She's not a huge fan of those, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, tattoos, but. All right, so basically what's gonna happen is people are gonna use Bitcoin mixtures more and people are gonna start using other cryptos, uh, especially Monero. So, and then that's that. And then, it's, it's, yeah, it's just a waste of our time and money, but all right, you know, if it makes them feel better. Bitcoin nearly died. Uh, Haven status takes a hit this week. Uh, distrust in lady's these banks first Bitcoin boom. All right, well that's good. Uh, Microsoft's GitHub storing bit. Wait, Microsoft's GitHub storing Bitcoin code in Arctic Vault for a thousand years? Huh? Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh, see, even uh, Bill Gates, who who owns Microsoft, obviously, who owns Bit GitHub. Right, because now we're using GitHub, right, for my game. All right, got my repository. Most of it's private for obvious reasons, because I don't want people looking at my source code. And it's, I mean, it's obviously just the Zen book course. Anybody can just download it eventually, but obviously I'm going to be starting to make adjustments, right? Or just, or actually, I'll just be having my own complete source code. So it's all private, right? Because I don't want people stealing it and just making a clone of the game, literally. But anyway. Um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, Bill Gates is getting in on the prepper too, right? Creating a vault. <laughs> Sorry, Bitcoin research shows Ethereum emerging as a hedge against economic. Okay, so that's just more bullshit. Uh, Bitcoin bull is not interested in XRP. Yeah, I'm not interested in XRP only because it's actually hard for me to buy, and there seems to be a lot of restrictions on holding it, right? Like I just run into errors, like you know, it's like, well, you cannot have deposit XRP. It's like, okay, you know what? I'll just get everything else, right? You know, because I, I honestly just don't care. Now, I thought XRP is centralized anyway, so I, why do I want it? I mean, XRP is, you know, got an incentive to, you know, do right for the coin. But it's like the whole point of cryptocurrency is to get into the decentralization. So, you know, it's like, at least for me personally, that's one of the big reasons why. So... Uh, Bitcoin tumbles, altcoins in deep red. Here's where Bitcoin. Da, 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 da. As Bitcoin continues to slide toward 9,000, uh, Square Crypto, Jack Dorothy tweets Bitcoin, Black America. Oh, God. All right. It's just. Money Grand expanding use of blah, 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 blah. All right. So this is all bullshit. Let's just see what the coronavirus is doing. All right. Let's do the Kariba virus. Yeah, that is, that, that's pretty funny. Coronavirus live updates, outbreak spreads and stuff. Italy, a CDC, coronavirus live updates. You know, I bet the fake news terrorist websites must be very happy right now because there's so many people probably searching for this term and like they're constantly updating the news. And on top of that, they have to kind of update it because a lot of people are legitimately uh, scared or concerned about this shit. Here, prepare for pandemic as illness spreads. Um, Uh, from Italy. Brazil now has its first case in the first one in Latin America. Read updates in Chinese. Oh, uh, I thought this was almost... Man, there's a lot of these. I thought for a second there this was uh, Union Square here in New York City. We have something very similar except we don't have the horses on top. 
Um, oh, the heat finally came on. That's good. Especially now that it's getting a little colder in my apartment because I have the damn window open. Just air up. I, mean, I still smell some of the bleach, but it does seem to be... Uh, I think the super did at least open the windows and the doorway on the, here on the first floor. So Actually, I shouldn't say that because I want you... Well, all right. But there's a lot of people that live in this uh, floor. So you, know, you, you guys will have a very hard time finding where I am. New cases of coronavirus po popping up across... Europe does it affect China and Iran stoking fears? Oh yeah, so they're finally just no, they're finally covering Iran. So Iran says they have 61 dead people from the coronavirus as of like yesterday. Uh, this is the CDC and the U.S. warned that it's not a matter of when, not it's a matter of when, not if the virus would invade American shores. A toxic political kind, Josh Jin complicated the public health challenge. Yeah, I already get like the feeling of like they're just trying to take shots at Trump rather than actually doing what's right. And the problem is, you know, the kind of, they're all, the CDC is also kind of stuck too. Where it's like, well, if we don't warn it and then something happens and we get the blame. So, you know what? We don't like Trump because he cut our funding. And we're not really sure about this. So, you know what? Let's just put the warning out there and then our hands will be, you know, clean of the responsibility of blame. Uh, more new cases from China outside. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, there doesn't seem to be anything new. Um, kind of surprising. You're, the EU, which prides itself on open borders among member nations, have new cases. Most of the so it's actually kind of interesting. I have yet to see too many people saying, "Hey, we need to close the borders because of coronavirus." Yet, but I think, but even the New York Times kind of mentioned it a little bit there. Ugly battles erupt as residents fight housing coronavirus patients in their cities. What? Ooh. Uh, out, out. Uh, have we not learned lessons from Wuhan? Costa Rica and Santa Calvary refuse to be a petri dish. Life will end as we. Oh, okay. So we got some doomers here. Okay. Uh, the coronavirus has yet to become a major health threat in Orange County. I probably eventually placed some patients as a state owned facility in Costa Mesa, sparked political battle, which where residents are speaking conspiratorial, even in apocalyptic terms. That's actually true. Like, you know, like, is. Imagine how we would feel in New York City if you want to bring in like 10 coronavirus who tested positive for coronavirus, right? There are 15 million, 15.6 million people here in New York City, right? Yeah, what do you think is going to happen? We're all tightly packed in. We're all going to, it's literally going to be the zombie apocalypse, you know? Like maybe I'm willing to take one for the team, right? You know, just take out like a bunch of liberals, right? But that's very evil, it's very bad, all right? And it's also extremely bad karma, so that essentially means we all die, all right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. And of course, they always pick on the conservative uh, areas, right? Because they know, you know, it's like, uh, what is it? Rules for thee, but not for me. Expect the hidden agenda to bring coronavirus into our city, explode life line as we know it. At the focus of fear is probably used a fair view development center as a coronavirus quarantine center, a notion that drew swift and fierce condemnation from city council, state, and federal officials representing the area. So everybody, including the Democrats, are against this. I don't blame them. It's like the first round of approving ballot. But here's the thing. We still probably need to find, like, like we have, it's kind of hard, right? Because, yeah, these people are literally pariahs, essentially, the coronavirus victims. But we do kind of want them in isolation. We do want them back. At least that's my stance. Right? We do want them in America. So we also need we need their we need their blood samples. We need to study the virus, and in order to create a vaccine, we need samples of the coronavirus, right? Because that's how you make vaccines. There's no getting around it. All right. So it's better that we have it in a very controlled, known environment, so we could quickly develop a cure. All right, because I mean, we've already developed a, va a potential vaccine already, all right, in like f what three and a half, four months, right? When the normal turnaround time is ten to twenty years, so you know, so this stuff does work, but yeah, we kind of do need to be careful. Like, I don't know, this is literally like the shittiest job, like a, your your actual nightmare. It's like, what do you do, right? You know, everyone's just gonna get mad, but you have to do something. Fear, discrimination, stigma, much harder to control, move against the actual virus. D D. Uh, yeah. Well, here's the thing. Like, you know, like just pit. See, that's the thing. Most rural or low population areas tend to be more conservative. So, uh, I mean, 
I think there's some somewhere in Nebraska or Nevada, like they were interviewing somebody who uh, actually had tested positive for the coronavirus, or her husband did, and and she's in quarantine. So Fox News dude was like interviewing her. So just put her, just yeah, just put up, put them there. Ultimately, we expect to see coronavirus spread in the country uh, for the CDC. It's not so much a question. Okay, stock prices dropped Thursday, and hey. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all right, all right. That fear is not too well. I can have a lack of specific about the proposal. Oh, yeah, that's really bad. Lack of specifics about the proposal. Yeah, that's a re recipe for disaster. So, as I said, okay, so the city did get a temporary restraining order. Believe it or not, because there's so much fierceness, I would not be surprised. Well, I don't know. Would they actually call, would they have the balls to call the National Guard to force? And point their guns at fellow U.S. soldiers that are probably going to like try to bring these patients in. Uh, well, another thing about the military is starting to the health and welfare are probably the top priority. Bringing these infected into this densely populated area is simply the wrong approach. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a densely populated area. Are you trying to infect everybody? Like, what's? Are you stupid? You know, it's, it, they have to be put in isolation. Orange Bo County Board of Supervisors voted in the United States Tuesday to file an amicus brief in support of COVID. Oh, yeah, so I didn't go to Mike Sarich, uh timeline too much, but uh, he lives in Orange County, so you can bet he's, like, really turbocharging the fight here. The board's in the area to support public health and safety. We have not provided a uh, similar situation fully recently in Alabama, where local and state officials also basically said no. Uh, very told me that Israel will not be saying victim of crime with an apprenticeship to Anastan Alba. Thank you, Trump. Uh, since you need something to log in a political favor to the county, must not have the poll to get taken off the list. Alabama does. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's because it's California, and obviously, they're not big fans of Donald Trump. Uh, attorney for the East said, was there any of a superior site because the Philly has individual rooms with bathrooms attached, which would facilitate isolation and allow several patients to be monitored in a small area. Well, the patients who remain at Travis Air Force Base and hospitals in Northern California, about 10 units of people have been tested positive for COVID-19, but do not have any symptoms, but do not have symptoms. It could be isolated. Fear of you back out. A unit could be an individual or family. Well, attempting to quell the warring sides, President Presiding District Judge Josephine Stan expressed sympathy empathy for the patients. Uh, these Americans who have been unfortunately and fairly inflicted with this virus. No one should say not in my backyard as a general rule. Uh, see, that's kind of hard. I mean, yeah. Communities are dealing with the threat in a different way. San Francisco mayor declared a local emergency. <clears throat> yeah, and San Francisco's covered in poop, so that doesn't help things either. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, dealing with fear and misinformation, so of course, um, oh wow, so now they're attacking the Orange County people for not getting their flu vaccine, and that's a disconnect we have. God, what a stupid who said this? Who said this? Brewer, who is Brewer? Uh, uh, all right, I don't, I don't want to bother, but what 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 an asshole. During an interview Tuesday, Brewer Kuzi had to stop a cough. He's been underwear. He said dealing with the illness that's not COVID-19. People are very worried about this virus, but they forgot about all the other viruses that move around. Heat. That is actually, that is one thing I will agree with, right? All right, because if I cough and I happen to be Chinese, like, are people going to, like, stare at me? Oh, my God, does he have, does he have coronavirus? Like, like, did he bypass it? Did he lie? Right, so yeah, you know the the the, the witch hunt and fear mob mentality does have to be um, does have to be uh, mindful. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all right. So anyway, if you like what you saw, at Redford, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can grow the channel. Um, what should I call it? So I've actually been thinking about more problems that people can have so I can put it into my video game. So I actually think uh, all the stuff I listen to from Jesse Lee Peterson's YouTube will be like fantastic content. Plus, it's actually quite relevant because most people are actually going through this problem. So be a good way to help people out and you know have some good kind for the game and then make people who play the game you know really start thinking about their own lives so 
Uh, and in order to fully complete that, I have to forgive my own mom and dad, which I definitely will. Probably, you know, I go for Thanksgiving this year. All right. They'll, so that's basically nine months from now or eight months. So that'll give me plenty of time to really figure out what I want to say. Because I need to be able to say as much truth as I can without them making feel like I'm attacking them. Because my parents are very unstable. So, you know, they'll just be like, whoa, 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 you're our son, you ungrateful little. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to state facts. I'm not judging you. And then, I, I don't care. And then it's like, all right, man. So, you know, I try to try, try to figure out how to, how, like, how to do it smoothly, right? Of course, if it all goes to shit anyway, despite my best efforts, well, like Jesse Lee Peterson says, you know, you know, my parents will wind up suffering and dying, all right? You know, not literally, but, you know, hey, my parents can't help themselves, right? So, anyway, enjoy your day or day night. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. And, uh, yeah, I have a lot of work to do today. And I definitely have to open the windows in the apartment building because, like, you know, I want to get rid of this damn bleach smell. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 card. I haven't even bothered to update these things. And, uh, well, it's mostly going to be coronavirus. So, this is actually a really good, this is actually perfect. Yeah, this is good. This is very good.